Hey, y'all. Welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, this is Joe and Jay Outspoken. Remember to follow all of our platforms and you can find them by going to linktree forward slash Joe and Jay Outspoken. Today is for Tuesday, December 26th. I'm Jay and today Joe and I are celebrating the day after Christmas and going over its significance along with its changing in today's society. Well, you ready for our Yuletide special? I'm ready for that mistletoe going over that doorway right there. Oh, How you doing? Oh boy. How you doing? Well, Merry Christmas, everyone. Merry Christmas, everyone. Now let's get into this. Yeah. All right, everybody. Well, welcome back to the channel. Um, thanks for joining us once again thank and you. for thank our you, thank you. day after Christmas episode. Um, it's all of a sudden got chilly once, you yeah. know, Christmas rolls I through. Knew. All the snow on the ground outside. <laughs> that's that's that powdered uh, mashed potato. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's in my belly. <laughs> Feliz Navidad, everybody. Yeah. Feliz Navidad. Merry, Merry Christmas. Merry yeah. Christmas. One so, thing you won't hear from us is a like, happy holiday. Yeah. Yeah, we don't say that. So so what do you guys think about that? So that's been a big um, thing, obviously, over the years that, you know, we're, uh, we're not supposed to say it businesses and all that. Because now when you go into mostly any business during the holidays, especially around Christmas, especially, they will say happy holidays. You, never... won't, you won't see that at Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A, yeah. No, sir. So, you know, Happy Holidays refers to everything from probably around the end of October, right around Halloween, through Thanksgiving, through Christmas, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, all the way to uh, New Year's. So Happy Holiday, it encompasses a lot. But does that justify it? N not not to uh, how many times have you gone to someone and say hey happy halloween I, I really don't say happy halloween we just go to door say trick-or-treat right you don't really spend that time saying you go trick-or-treating dude <laughs> anyway <laughs> yeah i do, <laughs> do you, did you see that bag of candy in there come on you don't get <laughs> you don't get this shit by not eating candy <laughs> and anyway but like you don't or you know people celebrate new year's day or new year's eve by happy new year Right. We, yeah, we, we it, hang out. You could drink, and you know. Well, the thing is, at, when the clock counts down to twelve, right? Five, four, three, two, one. Happy, happy holiday! No, yeah. you say Happy New Year happy because New Year. that is the holiday, right? right. Happy holidays is for, is yeah, a big too. umbrella, yeah. So but it's, it's ne Christmas, but it's never been happy happy uh, holidays when it comes to Christmas. Like no. if everyone had its own, like. Uh, happy Halloween, Saint Happy Day. New Year, Groundhog Day, right? And all of a sudden, Christmas has to be encompassed, weekend? right? But now Christmas has to be encompassed into a Happy Holiday. You right. know, like I, I feel like you've taken away what it, uh, what it, what it really means to celebrate Christmas, and what does it mean to celebrate Christmas? You ask. I'm glad you asked, Jay. Yeah. What does it mean <laughs> to celebrate Christmas? So. <laughs> The celebration of Christmas is a religious holiday. It's a Catholic mm -hmm. holiday, a Christian holiday, where we celebrate the birth of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. That's right? correct. Um, and uh, yeah, the, the dates might not be accurate, but I think they take that from, um, I think he was, scholars say that he was uh, crucified like March 25th. So they take nine months, which is the, the how many, how long it takes for a child to be born, right? Yeah. To, and and it landed on on December twenty fifth, um, but again, it's just a a celebration of 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 Jesus Christ. So right, and and so that's why it's always been Merry Christmas, right? Uh, and the, the, even the word itself uh, has meaning to it. Um, but people are offended because of that belief, and I think that's now you're you've kind of crossed the line, right? Because you know every holiday is meant to be a a, a happy one, a cheerful one, right? Yeah. Um, I I don't I don't celebrate Kwanzaa or Hanukkah, so but does that mean that I have to now ask 
the Jewish community to take that away because it bothers me because I don't want to participate. Right, in it. and they can they can only call it a holiday. They can't call it Hanukkah yeah, anymore. Yeah, like that's uh, to me that's that's not what America stands for. No, right. I mean, no. everyone's free to to practice any religion they want, right. celebrate any holiday they want. You don't want to call it uh, uh, Christmas. You want to call it a holiday? Fine. You know, but you you can't forget why it's Christmas. You you simply can't just bypass right. that. So if you're at home, you have a tree, you're exchanging presents, that, that was the that's what Christmas is about, right? Where humanity comes together and things like that. So if you don't want to say Merry Christmas, man, you better throw that tree away. Don't right. be don't be celebrating our holiday. Yeah. That's all well, I gotta say about and, that. And you're gonna get people that are gonna say <laughs> a bunch of different things like, <laughs> well, it was a that was a pagan thing as far as the tree and and all this kind of stuff. Oh my we can, God. We could look at it so many ways. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. Well, the same thing about his birthday. So, my mom and I were talking about this uh, a couple weeks ago here. Mm -hmm. And we were talking about Christmas and, and, you know, the date of December 25th, not specifically being um, Jesus' birthday. Mm -hmm. Nobody knows exactly no, the no. day. Now, like you were saying, there's scholars and there's people that have done a lot of research on. Um, you know, there's star charting, so they know when, st where stars were and, and, you know, for the star to have been in the sky, this is roughly the time frame and everything. So they, they kind of know what's going on. Um, but going back, my mom and I were talking about it and our family, we've never purchased dogs mm -hmm. ever. Like we've never, you know, went down and given $400 or whatever people yeah. do for dogs. Yeah. We always get other people's dogs or strays, you know, that, uh, strays were big in my house. Yeah. <laughs> I think my brother was one. Oh man. For, for the longest time, uh, I remember, you know, my aunt would be going back and forth to work or whatever, and she'd see a dog on the street and grab it. And that'd be our new dog, you know, <laughs> which was cut, great. Cut off the name tag and toss it out the window. <laughs> <laughs> they, and they were usually pretty roughened up. So we had yeah. to, you know, take care of them and yeah. stuff. But, but what we were talking about was, um, you know, we didn't we didn't know any of those dogs' birthdays. So mm. what we did was we gave a celebratory day to the dog. You know, the day that and, you got him. Um, well, usually it was uh like somebody's somebody else's birthday. Oh, okay. okay. Or or you know a significant day or something like that. And it's really not important that you know the exact day. It's more that you are honoring their memory and celebrating that person. So you know, if I was to say anything. That's what I'd say to people that are going to get hung up on, well, December 25th yeah, isn't here, specifically. And, and here's my, and that's a great view to look at it, right? Because that's important. But here's my view on that topic, right? Is we're missing the point. Or we, it, the, yes, it's, we know that our Lord uh, was, bo was born of a virgin, came here to sit. But the point is the purpose of it, not so much his birth, but the purpose of him coming mm -hmm was to save you sinners, right? <laughs> um, and, and me, I'm not going to lie. Um, it, There's two of them sitting right here. <laughs> it's to save the sinners, right? And, yeah. and give us a, because that, 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 this, is, this was Jesus' covenant with, with, with humanity, was that you can be forgiven and you can spend time uh, after your death with Jesus. So that's what's relevant. That's what's important was the right. purpose behind his birth, not necessarily like, was it the 25th? Was it the 24th? That's irrelevant. It really is irrelevant. It, it is irrelevant. Because yeah. what's relevant is the purpose, right? right. And, and that's what we focus on. And to us, uh, uh, us Christians, um, our belief is like, it's the once in a lifetime or once in a year time that we get to stop what we're doing and celebrate something that's worth really celebrating, right? right? Um, and, and to remind us, hey, guys. It's not all about you. It's not you. You're insignificant in this world. This is about your purpose in life, right? And 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 that's what it's about. So you know, all those people that hate, like that are that say it's a paganism, or they say that that's not even his birthday. And again, those are really irrelevant dates. Mm -hmm. It's the purpose behind that, you know. And 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 we go on for 15 episodes as to. Uh, pros and cons about your belief and my belief and our belief, but oh, gosh, we have yeah, his, we can't get But here's that. the thing. Here's the thing, and I'm gonna be straight up with all y'all. Whether you you're an atheist or you're not, or you believe in Jesus or you don't, the fact is there is thousands of books that have documented 
his existence. So it's not like we could deny it. No one can deny it, right? We b- Books in the Bible I've been studying, they have been locations. Um, all these locations exist that they talk about, right? They've been changed for years and years have happened and the, the names have been changed and, and whatnot, but they exist. So we're not going to argue that fact. That's not what this podcast about or right. this episode's about. This episode's about um, one what we believe um, is the celebration, what are we celebrating, right, as as, as Christians, uh, but also, where is it going? Like, why Why is it so? And here's the thing. I think you guys all know our stance on DEI, right? We, we were totally against that. Yeah. Um, we're totally. Our last we're, episode, we had uh, kind of went over over that. Did we, I don't recall that. Did we, you don't did we discuss that? <laughs> um, and then I think. The I other, think we discussed it almost every other episode. <laughs> <laughs> and then the other thing is like the view. I really don't give two hoots about the view of today's LGBTQ community. I really don't. Um, the old one, yes. I have friends that were part of the old LGBT yeah. community that, that I believe strongly of and still today support. Um, but here's the thing. You, you, If you want me or force me to call you he, he she, we, whatever, yeah. they, them, dumb, uh, dumb dumbs, um, <laughs> wow. <laughs> but you want to eradicate my belief Right. what I believe in. I mean, where's the, the fairness there? there where's the, go. let me use one of the words that we hate. Where's the equality to that? Yeah. There's no equality to that. There's because it's not, it's a whole lie. It's a whole big, just a, a show that there's no true equality. They just want to overtake um, one of the, the biggest points to turn any kind of government around is race. Right. Uh, so no, we don't, we don't believe in any of that. Um, and I think that, the the whole thing that we just started talking about, the happy holidays, I think that's ridiculous. You know, like, I get it. I, I understand a, a business saying, hey, it's the holiday season. In holiday general. season, yeah, right. I that's get what it. it is. Because that's, we're we're celebrating yep. from right after Thanksgiving, right up to Thanksgiving, all the way down to New Year's. It's a big, it's a three bigger. It's a threefer, right. like we call them in the cigar world. It's a threefer, right? Not a twofer, it's a threefer. So we, we're, we're celebrating Thanksgiving, right? The, it, which is kind of like that little pagan thing where we're going into autumn or whatever it is. And then, pagan. and then. Christmas, um, and and then and then New Year's, right? So those are yes, like you said, the holidays, right? You included Halloween. I don't know why, because you're spooky, bro. I think that's why. But but anyway, um, I think well, that, that's when everybody starts putting up all their fall decorations yeah, around. Because yeah. some people don't don't even really do the whole Halloween thing. They actually or just fall. I said autumn, fall. Yeah, fall. Yeah, well, autumn. Yeah, they yeah. start putting up, you know, like pumpkins and stuff, but they don't do the spooky season stuff they the just jack o lantern they just do the pre thanksgiving uh decorating and that kind of stuff which is which is really cool a lot of people like i mean i like fall too i think the colors and everything are really they're really no they, I, I love them they're beautiful mm-hmm. but here's the thing i mean man michigan has some most beautiful colors seasons yeah <laughs> but something we do not experience here you know <laughs> you're like zero oh my god look at that cactus bloomed the middle of january <laughs> and the middle of july look exactly the yeah. same they just feel different <laughs> does that cactus bloom no that's a bird <laughs> but the thing is this i get stores saying hey we're we're coming and this is behind closed doors with their like team members like we're get we're coming into the holiday season Mm-hmm. Right, because there's always specials and right. deals, which are lies. They're not really deals. They just tell you their deals. Yeah. But anyway, um, and um, so there's I get, no more door busters yeah, anymore. No, they lie, bro. Those I saw this video. This chick is pulling the thing where it says holiday pricing. And they slides it out, and then the regular price is the same. Yeah, <laughs> I'm like liars. Yeah. But anyway, I I I feel like as we move through society, as we as we flood society with this dei stuff this this fake crap stuff we're we're removing our values and we're sacrificing mm-hmm. those values and a lot of us and are allowing that to happen uh because we don't want to be that outcast right you see it every day right we can't we can't say something because we're offending somebody else or right. blah, blah blah but we never look at it from the other perspective like whoa well by you being offended by what something i believe in i'm offended you know, we, we could go back and forth with this. The, the, and yeah. you know this. Everybody is going to have something to say about it. Um, and, hey, even listeners. Yeah, we have listeners here who are not religious. And right. and I value them as much as I value someone who is religious. I, I'm just speaking, speaking my truth. You know what right. I mean? And, and uh, I, I believe in something. And if you don't believe in what I believe in, dude, we're still friends. 
Right. Because the other thing I believe We're in adults. is 2A, America, uh, freedom, all those things that we all have a lot and, of things and, in common. And forgiveness and, uh, you know, tolerance. I mean, yeah. Like, I forgive all the dum dums. I don't hold nothing <laughs> against them. Right. Yeah. Well, and, you know, if you look, so what year is this? this is it 2023, right? Um, we're at the, the end of 2023. Crazy, crazy, crazy. So we're celebrating Christmas. Okay. 2023. Why is it 2023? Why, why are we celebrating Christmas in 2023? Cause 2023 years ago, what happened? Jesus. Yeah. So, Jesus. so an entire calendar system is based off of, of this man, if he was so insignificant and, and not important. That's why we have BC too. Yeah. Before Christ. Yeah. BC and AC. And, and now they've even changed those yeah, yeah, to, uh, what is it? Current, um, CE current era or whatever. Liberals. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, it, there's, there's so much based around this for Christmas to be a, you know, a true time of mm -hmm. celebration. And, and that's really what it is. It's a, it's a celebration of, um, you know, Christ, his birth and what he brought to, um, to society, you know, the United States, if, if you look at how we were founded and our founding fathers, and, you know, again, this is all, we can argue for days mm -hmm. and days upon, you know, well, the United States stole land from the native Americans and all these kind of things. Um, you know, when this country was, was founded, the founding fathers, uh, used the Judeo Christian, um, system to really, you know, found, found our laws and everything based off of biblical principles. And, um, you know, and it worked and this has been yeah. a really great country. Have we struggled? Have we done, you know, dumb, dumb things throughout history? Absolutely. Every country has, and, um, but you know, it's one of those things that, uh, Jesus has really been the big factor, yeah. you know, in creating this country and m making the people who they're, the reason our country has gotten so sideways and, and uh, off track is because we do, it's a melting pot, right? We have so many people that come from so many different, uh, avenues of the world and they bring their beliefs in too, right? And anytime anybody says it, like, I, I love, I don't want to get too off track with this, but when, uh, especially the younger folks and everything, they start, you know, screaming socialism and stuff. It's like, well, name one place in the world that socialism has worked. And, you know, these are usually the kids that want all this diversity and all this kind of stuff. And it's like, name one place it's worked. Well, no the places they're going to name off are a couple Scandinavian, you know, countries and, and places that are primarily white. The thing is, is that they have all the people in those cultures are doing the same thing. Like if you go to, for example, like if you go to Japan right now, mm -hmm. okay, so go to, New, take a trip to New York and uh, walk down a couple streets and get on a subway. And then fly over to Japan and do the exact same thing. Walk down some back alleys and get on a subway there. There is a distinct difference. And that is because of a culture that those folks have created. Now, whether, you know, their religion is different and everything like that, but it is a culture that they have created within their society. And that's the way we started out with was a, a specific culture and things were, mm -hmm. you know, things obviously changed over time and we had to fight for a lot of different stuff. We fought for freedom from, a, you know, oppressive government halfway around the world. Um, and then, you know, we fought to end uh, uh, slavery, which was terrible, you know, and we fought for a bunch of different things uh, over time. But all of those things got us to the point that we were, you know, a really great country and ended up ultimately becoming a, you know, the superpower of the world. If, if we were on the wrong track, believing the wrong things, doing stupid stuff in the beginning, we would have never made it this far and wouldn't be the country that we are today. So, you know, I really, I, um, some of the folks that, you know, I talk to and young kids and stuff, uh, when they, will say that, you know, this is such a, what is there to be thankful for in the, in the United States? 
one of the number one things they tell walk them outside is, your door. I'm like, you should be thankful every day. Thank God that you were born here and not somewhere else. Um, are there some other great countries in the world? Yeah, there's some good places that you could have been lucky, but there are many more. Belgium's pretty nice. There's there are, some nice waffles. The waffles. <laughs> so there are many more places that you could have been born into that would be not good. All right. There's uh, people in like, what's her, what's her name from? I don't even want to mention her name. The lady from Somalia. You know, why is she here? Uh, she hates this country so much, yet she left a country that so does sucks. AOC, I mean, that, so does she. <clears throat> she should leave. Somalia is terrible. I mean, those people are war-torn, like, forever and will be forever, right? So, you know, uh, there's a lot of places around around the globe that, that needs Jesus now. <laughs> yeah. No, you're, and you're right. Here, and here's the thing, I think, that why... So religion, one, is probably the, the main reason why... Um, Merry Christmas or Christmas is attacked, right? Because people don't want to be fed there, you know, and, and every, and I'm, every religion, like the Orthodox, I think they celebrate in January or something like that. So every religion has their own time to celebrate Christmas and, and we all respect it. No one's out there fighting that or right. whatever. It, it is what it is. Um, but I think one of the biggest things that a lot of these like DEI communities or just haters or people that one of the biggest things people fight christmas or our belief system is what does christmas do what does christmas do as society it brings families together mm -hmm. they right? hate families it brings families together so a lot of these people that that push dei that push all these alternative kind of lifestyles is because they've been either they've removed themselves from their own families or they've gotten kicked out of their own families right <laughs> because they, well because the, and, and I'm, yeah. I'm saying being honest a lot of a very strong catholic not christian catholic background families you know you come out you say i'm gay or i believe in this they'll kick you out you know what i mean that that's just how right. they were raised old timers you know what i'm talking oh, about yeah. right so a lot of these people don't have that family so they create this 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 alternative reality right. of existence right um they, they'll call it something else or celebrate something you'll see it coming up but um the families is a big thing around christmas time you know we all get together people put aside all their 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 misunderstandings through the year all the all the arguings are fighting and they come together on this one day to celebrate not just the birth of christ but to celebrate their family yeah right to, to to celebrate the fact that you know what at least i have a family you know whether we don't see eye to eye whether we only do it once a year whether we get an argument at the dinner table walk away but at the end of the day your brother your sister your dad or your mom or your uncles come and give you hugs like don't worry about it you'll be fine the whatever the case is you're with family right. there's something that we could never get rid of even yeah. if we wanted to right and that's important right because do i don't know when i might not see you again right no one does i mean that's the right. mysteries of life right i could be here one day and the next day i'm gone so do we have we cherish these moments and i think and i think that's why this and i want to call it i don't want to call it a tradition because it's it's really not a tradition it's something that we believe in it's a it's religious before it is celebratory right right um it is important for our society for people because if you look around you've seen all those christmas stories and all those real cute little things during the holidays they have they actually have good meaning they have good you know like uh what's that the uh, christmas on 34th i, mean, I don't want to go oh, yeah. some old old movie yeah right about black the, and white now yeah now in color yeah <laughs> and it, it was basically about you know they took sandy claus to court right remember that <laughs> So it's it's important that people understand that as Christians we use it's not just a celebration, it's also a, a reunion of family. You know, it's it's a time to get together and like see the people we haven't seen, those that that kind of strayed away or got involved in in illicit drugs or whatever the case is, or just came out of a bad marriage or went into a bad marriage or whatever the case is, or just you know coming back. We wait for that that one moment that brings us all together. Yeah. Right. And when people don't have that or, or lack that or fear that they go against that belief, you know, and it's not right to me. I don't think it's right. I think we should celebrate. And I think people should use this time to to put our differences aside and come together as not just a family, but as a society, a society, yeah. you know, where everybody's like, hey, man, look, they're celebrating the way they want to celebrate it. If they want to, you know, put up a, uh, a, a turkey or if they want to do whatever the case is, you know, if they want to eat turkey again. 
or they want to make tamales and some pozole or some menudo. You know, sounds it, wonderful. I know, right? <laughs> it, it, it's the point is the food doesn't even matter, right? The gifts, right. the gifts don't matter. None of that matters. What matters is that 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 laughter of your kids, that laughter of your grandparents or your mom or your dad or just all that. That's what's important. I think that's what's key in 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 keeping this religious um, day going. You right. know. Um, and just sit there, you know, everybody, like, I remember as a kid, like I used to go to my aunt's house and, uh, she would have this whole, those little, those little porcelain, um, town sets. Oh yeah. With the yeah. Little lights. Little house. I always yeah. like those. Yeah. She had like these two eight, eight foot tables with wow. little set up. <laughs> she was a, a lot. collector. She was a collector. And then she had a little train, right? I was, of course, I was the one. What was that department 52 or something like that? I think so. Yeah. At Target? I think they had them like at at the Hallmarks and stuff, but they might have had them at Target oh, yeah, yeah, too. Yeah. I know. Yeah, we did have them. They had like them at Hallmarks. Yeah. yeah, but anyway, they had a little train set. I was I was messing with the train set. I would put like little people on the track, try to kill them. Anyway, <laughs> I know I'm so bad. I, yeah, so bad. But so you know, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I remember like I I would get together with my cousins once in a while. We never like hung out and stuff because you know my they lived in one place, I lived in another. We just but that day. That we, because Mexicans, we start early. We start in, on Christmas the 24th. Yeah. yeah, we start on 24th, man. It's a big party, <laughs> right? We got like a little six pack of a punch and like a and a truckload of beer in the back. But anyway, um, they're like quinceañeras. They're, <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, we, you know, we you stay up till midnight. Yeah, that's right. But we'd, we'd, we'd get there and my aunt would make this meal like from end to end of food, every kind of food. She, she was married to my uncle was Native American. So we had fried bread. We had traditional food. Mm, we had, you know, amazing. native food. It was amazing. I'm like, bro. <laughs> I was like, I was like four foot, three hundred pounds. Right? I was like a, a fatty cakes. Fat, was, fat, was super fat, happy. Fatty cake. fat Matterson over there, bro. <laughs> anyway, I was sort of one end, just work my way up, boy, yeah. work it up to the other. End. But you where's know, the mac and cheese? Where's yeah. the mac and cheese? <laughs> and then I think that was my love for. Um, Rolls, bro. Oh. My gosh, she used to make these rolls. So anyway, we'd all get together, and that whole time, like New Year's Eve, so was my my aunt, my my mom. Everybody was cooking in the kitchen. My dad and my uncle were out there just BSing, watching the games or whatever they were doing. And all the kids were just running around. We we're just having a good time. We haven't seen our cousins in forever. We're you know beating up the girls. You know we're just doing all kinds <laughs> of cool stuff. You know and running around for that moment in time from Christmas Eve into Christmas. We just had fun. We were a family. Yeah. You know, all those times that we missed, my my uncle, my other uncle would come, and we were all there together. We, we hadn't seen, like, months could have gone by. We never, you know what I mean? Right. And here we are catching up in a day and a half of life. You know what I mean? And, of course, Mexicans, we open our gifts at midnight. And right. We start breaking it up. Menudo starts coming. Tequila comes out. Bro, it's all over after that. All the white kids were mad because we had to wait till the next day. To <laughs> Not us, bro. Not us. <laughs> And it was funny, like you for, better be in bed. So we had Santa won't come. <laughs> so we had younger. We had we were younger. The younger ones, we get to open one at ten o'clock. Oh, because yeah, we I knock out. We do that once we, in a while. We pass out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we have to wake up and we get all grouchy when we wake us up. Yeah, but it was again. It was a celebration of family. <laughs> that's what it was, and that's what you know. That that's as Christians, that's what we believe. You know, the yeah. unifi the unification of of people. Right, we're all God's God's children. We we come together on one day of peace and tranquility and joy and, and, and all that stuff. And people have just made it so ugly, bro. I just, oh, yeah. I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't understand it. Well, a couple of weeks ago, uh, I went and had coffee with my pastor mm -hmm. and, uh, we were talking about a bunch of different things, but one of the things, um, I don't know how we jumped from subject to subject, but, uh, one of the things was talking about the church and this relates to what you're talking about yeah. and family and, you know, celebrating Christmas. So we, we were kind of talking about the church and, and the, the church building itself really doesn't mean anything, right? It's just, it's four walls, it's a roof and, and stuff inside. What's really, um, what's really important about that is the people that gather together. Mm -hmm. And that's truly what's called the body of Christ, right? So correct. it's all the people gathering together that create the you know, for lack of better terms, the magic inside of a church, right? If, if all the people are together and they're, they're praying towards the same direction and everybody has the same, uh, heart, um, you know, you're going to have a wonderful church and that's the same thing, just mm -hmm. like you were talking about 
with family, um, you know, you can send presents via UPS or FedEx yeah. or whatever and, you know, text each other and, hey, Merry Christmas and, you know, all this kind of stuff. It's not going to have the same meaning no. like you just said of families getting together and celebrating, you know, and as when we celebrate as one, it's, it's really powerful. Um, and it is something that's really missing. I know, um, a little story I have was from when, uh, I was a kid mm -hmm. and I don't remember what year it was, but my, uh, my aunt that's no longer with us, uh, she had come down and said something to my grandmother and, was talking about how stressful it was yeah. to go, you know, buy presents for everybody and the kids and all that. And, and so my grandmother made this executive decision. She was like the matriarch for our family, right. you know, and everybody would always join up. And it was funny because they had probably out of the whole family, one of the smaller homes. Um, but everybody would join there because it just, it, again, that body felt, yeah, you know, absolutely. It's, it's where everybody wanted to be. And my grandmother made this executive decision. This is a long time ago. I mean, I, I was pretty, pretty young. I couldn't have been more than, I don't know, 15 or something. So it's a long time ago. And maybe it was a little after that, but she said, we're not doing gifts anymore. We'll do like drawings, you know, like gag gifts or everybody can get or a regular gift or whatever, but no more. I don't, people need to come here and celebrate the birth of Jesus and, and enjoy family time yeah, together yeah. and not worry about getting some trinket, some overpriced trinket and fighting crowds and everything. Um, there was one year, you remember in, uh, in the desert, they had, um, it was one of the Toys R Us and I can't remember if it was a Furby. Oh or yeah. And I those, remember that crazy. Oh my gosh. Yeah. And these, so for you, those those of you that don't know. So it's these two, well, it was a bunch of people. It was, you know, at the opening and they only had so many of those door buster things. And this is back when every year there was like a tickle me Elmo was one year. Something. And, yeah. <clears throat> when the Furbies first came out, I'm trying to think of what toy it was. It was, I'm probably saying the wrong toy, but let's go with Furby. And it was at a Toys R Us and these people are in there and these two dads get in a fight and they both end up offing each other. No Both way. of them. Yeah. So, you know, you think about it. Wow. These dads. This go, happened in, in, in our desert? Yeah. Dang. PD, yeah. Dang. And so so they they were down there to do something for their kids. And now the, both these kids in this one Christmas are without a parent. I mean, they lost their parent, you know. And and that's not what it's about, guys. It's Commercial. Not at all. Yeah. Well, and and all holidays admittingly have been commercialized big yeah. time, you know, yeah. um, uh, I, I've always said it's Hallmark holidays, you know, whatever Hallmark can make a card for, they're going to, you know, capitalize on and, and, and that's fine. I mean, people do love giving cards and you know what? People like getting, getting cards. It's, it Absolutely. means some, somebody thought about was, you. It, on, I was about to say that. They thought about you, you know, um, but what is it? there's some numbers about like mother's day versus father's day and like mother's day. There's like, uh, the second most given flowers of yeah. any day, you know, and only, only next to Valentine's day. Um, and dad's day, there's like hardly any card sold, you know, it's like, it's, it's funny how that comes out. Because a lot of people don't know their dad. That's probably. <laughs> wow. Wow. You did that. You said that. Wow. wow. You know, what was, you know, it's funny. It's a, it's a, it's a very cute story of mine. But one of the most... Uh, All your stories are cute. Thank you. <laughs> I'm a cute little guy. Uh, <laughs> ding, ding. I think one of the most admired things that my mom got from me as a gift, um, when I was a kid, um, I made her a, a Christmas macaroni Oh, uh, macaroni. Card. Yeah. You remember those little noodles, the little, yeah. the little and elbows? And you glue them? Yeah. I, yeah. Yeah, what are those? those and like, then you spray paint them gold? Yeah. She used with to, lead spray paint? <laughs> <laughs> we survived, bro. We, we survived. And we made it. We made it. She we drank would, out of water hoses. She used, we made to, it. she used to put that up in the Christmas tree every year. Yeah. I remember that. And even one time, one of the noodles fell off. Oof. And uh, she was like, oh, my God, find a noodle. Find I'm the like, noodle. <laughs> and then now, you know, as I'm older now, I'm like, man, Mom, there's probably she probably had boxes of those noodles in those the, the cupboard, dude. Just, just like, just throw, grab that one, put yeah. it on there. No big deal. But it, it, but you're right, though. It, it's gotten so – and the reason I said that, sorry, is because we have gotten commercial and stuff like that. But here's another thing. 
Um, and I get it. I, I truly do because we forget the meaning of Christmas, right? Right. Um, and one of the things that I use this opportunity because my kids won't ask for nothing. When they were kids, they'd ask for everything, right? As adults, they don't ask for nothing, right? So it's hard to shop for kids. Right. So, you know, you kind of tend to give them things they need, you know, and, you know, go to old socks and underwear and things like that. Yeah. Stuff that kids won't buy themselves, <laughs> right? Because they'd rather go get a concert ticket for something than get buy some underwear. Right. You know, so, um, but yeah, you know, that's why I use it. But I remember, and I'm sure this happened with, with your family, because I could see it happening. But we used to sing Christmas carols. Oh, yeah. You know, we start off with the records because my dad was a, he used to be a DJ, DJ and, he used to, yeah. and he used to uh, play records. But we'd start off with Christmas songs, you know, the good old um, Bing Cosby and, yeah. and, and Bob Hope and, you know, all those old ones, you know, yeah. um, uh, Frank Sinatra. Um, ones and old blue eyes, yeah. And they would, you have, you know, those holiday songs oh, yeah. that they have like that. You know, should I have albums of uh, was it Pentatonics? Oh yeah, you know, yeah, that, that yeah. group. Yeah. yeah, they just sang. Like they just, I just saw a video, and I don't like Miley Cyrus, but they just, I, I just saw a video with her, Miley Cyrus, Dolly Parton, and them. And Pentatonics, yeah. yeah, dude, it was a great, it was a great song. Uh, it was, um, I, I can't remember the song. It's an old Dolly Parton song. But anyway, it's, it's a great, it was a great song, but we like, we would listen to this music and it just set the tone, right? Oh yeah. Back then, you know, if you were, you know, if you had a little bit of money, you had those fake fireplaces that just kind of lit up and made the sound, yeah. you know what I mean? And you had your record, pl- you had your record <laughs> right. player in there and yeah. then your eight track in there and yeah. everything like that. And it served as a That's bar, funny. right? Yeah. So you remember it's, those, uh, yep. you remember. Big consoles yeah. from Montgomery Wards. <laughs> there you go, bro. So anyway, we were, we were, we were like, we had a little bit of money. So we're we, we, low. yeah. <laughs> so I remember now I think back and it was just a, this wheel that spun. <laughs> yeah. So funny. Anyway, um, but we it get the mood going, right? And then and then finally when after dinner, no, before dinner, right? Stuff was still kind of cooking. My aunt would come out with her little apron on, everything like that. We'd 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 lower the music and we start singing just your t- typical Christmas carols. The kids would. We'd be singing, they'd join in and stuff like that. But it just I, I don't know, man. It's like the whole atmosphere changes man like it's it's mm-hmm. it's a great feeling um i've you know living in 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 uh, michigan i've i've missed several christmases with my kids you know and they're not kids anymore they're adults but i miss them you know yeah. and and um, they're still your kids though. yeah they're still my kids and They'll be so, your babies forever forever <laughs> and so uh th- this year i am i'm back in the hood so i'm hopefully <laughs> my job permits i'll be heading over there and celebrating some christmas time with them but it's just it, just the the fact that you know everything and here's the thing jay and i think you feel the same way everything that's happened throughout the year this year 2023 good or bad or anything like that it all kind of goes away in that day uh, absolutely what do you think yeah yeah but you just don't even don't even think about it yeah. just kind of wipe it away yeah because at that moment nothing matters nothing right. else matters in this world yep. but that moment you have with your family Right. Right. Um, whether it's Kwanzaa, whether it's Hanukkah, whether it's Christmas, whatever it is that you celebrate during this time, you know, I encourage people to do it as long as you're 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 celebrating for a purpose. Right. right. For family, whatever the case is. Um, I've always wanted to be like do Hanukkah because they get gifts like 12 days or something like that. Yeah. And I'm like, dude, I want a gift every day. <laughs> but right? you light, light another candle yeah. on the menorah. Yeah. 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 I've but, got a good friend of mine that's uh Jewish. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, um, but you know what they did. I'm not going to say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They, they didn't, they didn't treat Jesus too nicely. So <laughs> yeah. So, y'all cool. But and the chosen ones, but <laughs> y'all know what you did. So we're not gonna talk about it anyway. But you know that I think that's very important that that people come together and instead of using this time to try and knock it down and say that it offends you and stuff like that, I'm like, give that a break. You have 364 other days to yeah. irritate us. <laughs> give that day a break G- yeah you know and, give us a day give us one day yeah. one day you know <laughs> and 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 bro go chill out man go 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 to a coffee shop and or go stop traffic somewhere on a road you know that no one's wow. using because of, <laughs> oh you act like that's not happening right now <laughs> glue you, your hand to a street yeah go for it dude they just they yeah glue your hand to a road <laughs> on christmas day because ain't no one gonna be out there yeah <laughs> I think the only thing we did on Christmas Day after that day of Christmas would I take all the kids to the movies. 
Oh yeah, go watch movies. But yeah, yeah. movies launch on uh, both Thanksgiving and, and Christmas, yeah. so they're big, big, big movie big days. Christmas. So you know what? Take, take leave our day alone. Yeah, and go go do a roadblock somewhere. In in, in in speeding traffic or whatever the case, I'm just kidding. I love everybody. Busy I don't freeway, wanna, yeah. yeah. Well, they did that in LA. I don't know if you yeah. saw that the uh, pro Palestinian protest. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So that's a whole different. Yeah, story. I, I know a group who's not celebrating Christmas this year. Yeah, <laughs> it's the pro Palestinians. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so all you pro Palestinians in America, I better not see a Christmas tree in your house. Better yeah. not. Yeah. Or gift giving or, or anything gift like giving that. Yeah. or holiday pay. I swear. Holiday if pay. you guys get holiday pay, I'm calling your <laughs> I'm calling your jobs. Your HR department's yeah. getting a notice from <laughs> us. Um I'm Yeah, you know, and and one of the things that comes up, especially in Christian circles, is the you know, the uh commercialization of Christmas mm-hmm. and that we forget about, you know, what its true meaning is. And you know what? I don't uh, there's a part of me that I really enjoy the actual commercialization yeah. portion of it because i think for little kids to be able to get gifts and things is really nice most during this time of year if you think about it and and why is it only this time of year that we start thinking about people and saying hey you know what there's food banks and stuff that need food for people for christmas and we turn nice yeah. we turn nice all of a sudden you know the rest of the year forget about everybody this time of year hey let's let's come together and get gifts for little kids um like our church is doing this deal where you know it's a toy drive and and um you know one of the things uh gosh a couple sundays ago and the pastor said something to the effect of you know for some of these kids the gifts that are being donated at the church are the only gifts these kids are going to get you know and man that in in such a wonderful country it breaks my heart to know that there's kids going through that kind of thing, you know, that they don't have food every day and all these kind of things. And the fact that we can, you know, funnel so much money to other countries to support, you know, bogus wars is just ridiculous. It is sad. But, um, yeah, it's a, it's a wonderful holiday. Yeah. Like Joe said, give it to us. Let us, uh, let us celebrate our day guys. And then you can jump on Christians uh, the rest yeah, of the year, yeah, you, but give us our day. Yeah. And then you can jump <laughs> off buildings and protest whatever you want. Yeah. But here's the thing, guys. I also want a, a, a big shout don't, out. Don't jump. Don't jump. Uh, uh, did I say tree? Tr- tr- yeah. Don't, don't jump out of your tree house. Okay. Yeah. Don't jump out of your tree house. But a uh, big shout out to all them uh, first responders and other people that go out there and do like Absolutely. the shop with a cop or shop with a firefighter or shop with, you know, whatever it is that it is that you guys do. Um, any, any, any group out there that does these things, I, my hands down, thank you for doing so. Yeah. Um, I think that one of the saddest thing is for a child to go without yeah. On a day of giving. Well, there's a lot of uh, programs and I mean, you know about this kind of stuff. So like for the fire department and the police department, um, there are, and you can call them and you can do give anytime like stuffed animals and things like that. Um, fire departments and police departments have usually in their, either in the squad cars or on the fire trucks, they carry like stuffed animals and some other little knickknacks with them for little kids because they call you, them like uh, consoling bears. Or yeah. Something like that. Cause you don't think about these things. Yeah police officer rolls up to you know domestic dispute and the kids there and they're you know you got this scary person in a a, a uniform trying to console a kid while they're arresting mom and dad or something like that or you know one that i feel like really horrible about is when these fire departments they roll up to a house you know and yeah and the house is completely engulfed and And this little kid's sitting there and they have nothing. All of their little toys and favorite thing are totally gone. So the fire departments will, you know, if they have them on the truck with them, they'll handle. So if you're not religious or whatever, and you don't want to do stuff specifically for Christmas, these are things that you can give uh, to these organizations, you know, um, that way they have these things readily available for them for just kids in general. And for people that, you know, are going through really traumatic Momentary experience, yeah. yeah and so. if you are religious, um, or believe what we believe, or whatever you believe, take this time to give. Not just family. You know, you see someone down the street. You know, that's having a hard time getting up on a curb. Stop what you're doing. Get out of your car, your air conditioned car, and <laughs> give them a hand. 
No. I mean, this is a time, and it should only just be around this time. It should be all the time. As a society, we should do much better than what we're doing. Um, we're too busy crying about um, the environment and whether I call someone he, she, they, may, or whatever, yeah. um, that we forget about the true people that need help. Yeah. You know what I mean? So let this holiday season I don't want to offend anybody. <laughs> so let this Christmas be a reminder to all those of you who sh- know or should know that there is a bigger purpose than ourselves, right? We need to serve a bigger purpose than ourselves. Um, we should be one kind to each other uh, <laughs> and helping each other. Yeah. Uh, I know there, my brother here, he's helped me through so much, you know, and, and I love this guy, but we should not just do it for the person that's, that is near and dearer in our life, but to a neighbor. And when I say neighbor, that means anybody around us, right? Right. Everybody's your neighbor. Yeah. And and then just, you know, even the Canadians, even those (laughs) Canadians. Um, and and of course the Mexicans, but you're all over here already. So (laughs) wow. Changes a little bit. I'm just kidding. I'm here too. (laughs) If we treated every day like Christmas and had that feeling and everybody was nice to everybody, just like Christmas, world would be a much better place sure would sure would so remember folks kindness starts at home absolutely well thanks so much for hanging out with us today everybody merry christmas i'm jay feliz navidad (laughs) i'm jay and that's joe and this has been joe and jay outspoken if you had fun do us a favor like subscribe comment and share it'll help us out a ton if there's a topic you would like to see us cover in the future let us know you can go to joeandjproductions.com forward slash ideas and we do read our emails once in a while thanks again everyone for tuning in take care of one another and remember do better be better and as always god God bless bless america. america feliz navidad merry christmas